The games people play, canoe spring. Two of the games people play at the Olympics are canoe competitions. We've got canoe slalom covered in another breakdown, but now we're going to take a closer look at canoe sprint. And it is exactly as it sounds, paddling a canoe as fast as you can. Now, canoe slalom takes place on a whitewater course, but canoe sprint happens on flat water on a course that can be as long as a thousand meters. And just as in canoe slalom, this event features both canoes and kayaks. In the canoe, the rower works from a kneeling position with a single-bladed paddle. In a kayak, the rower is seated with a double-bladed paddle. Most of the events are individual races, but there are also two-person canoe races and four-person kayak races. Now, in whitewater canoe and kayak, you're racing against the clock all by yourself on the course. But in the flat water races, you are racing against an armada of perhaps up to eight boats. A little bit more like a swim meet with lane markers running the length of the course and each competitor team has to stay within their lane. You see a lot of letters and numbers around this sport like C1 or K2. The letter C means canoe, K means kayak, and then the number refers to the number of competitors in the race. So C1 means single canoe, K2 means two-person kayak. It's interesting the way some sports are dominated by certain countries, and in canoe sprint, the nation of Hungary has long been extremely accomplished in both men's and women's racing. But in recent years, the dominant figure, Lisa Carrington, the most successful Olympian ever from New Zealand. And now you're all set for the canoe sprint, another of the water-based games people play. Brought to you by Wallside Windows, celebrating 80 years as Michigan's replacement window leader. For more information on this event, visit clickondetroit.com.